Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry about the poor lighting, it's the sun's beaming in here. Um, but I don't know, it just seems, I'm using my camera on my phone uh, and I'm gonna keep persevering with that until I can be bothered to learn how to use a proper camera. I sent one back previously. Anyway, another story. Welcome back, um, my name is Kim. This is my chan new YouTube channel for embroidery. Um, I have done some art on there and I've done just bits and pieces really, but it's mainly for embroidery. So for those of you that are new to embroidery as well, um, welcome and I hope uh, that you'll keep coming back and learn with me. I make mistakes and I try to show my mistakes as well and I try to show how I rectify them, okay? Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a um, mermaid uh, applique. That was in, you'll see if you watch the previous video to this, uh, how to transfer Etsy files over to your design program, that's the mermaid. Um, I've done other mermaids, but this one here's got some nice hair up in bunches up here. And um, I'm going to do the skin tone, a different colour. And it's I've, I've got quite a few ideas in mind for that to, to try and match all my colours together. Hopefully they'll work. Anyway, oh, out of breath. Um, I am just having a cup of tea, which is in my, there we go. Think happy thoughts mug. I've had this mug a while and it's actually managed not to break. Um, think happy thoughts. Now that is me every single day, all day. That's all I ever do is think happy thoughts all the time. Mm. No, I don't actually. <laughs> For those of you that do know me personally, you know me too well. Anyway, um, right, so I am going to get on and did I tell you if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe because that would be great oh and another thing if you are new to embroidery and you haven't got your machine yet um, or if you are new to embroidery and you've got yourself a one needle machine single single needle machine this can be done on that as well um, so don't worry it can you know single needle machines are just as good only they're just they just take a little bit longer to you know finish um, yeah, uh, I think that was all I was going to say. I have actually done this video about five times already and I probably changed exactly what I've said just now about, f I don't know, five times obviously. I've done it five times. I'm babbling now, talking rubbish as usual. Um, no, anyway, on a serious note, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, that would be fantastic because it really helps my channel. Um, my channel is relatively new and I'm trying to build up a good following and help you guys out with as much as I can. Um, for those of you that ask questions and you find that I haven't answered you yet, please bear with me. It doesn't always um, notify me, so um, I have to go through everything. Um, and yeah, so it can be t quite time consuming. Uh, I've got my art that I do as well, you see, um, and that takes up some time as well. I don't want to neglect that um, because that is my, um, that's mostly, that's my main income, I must admit, really. Um, so, yeah, but I, I I do this really, I do it for fun. As, I, I'm doing it for fun, actually, at the moment because I don't make an income out of it, not really. Um, time will tell. Uh, so, yeah. I went out and bought myself a 10 needle machine, which I regretted at the time after, not at the time, I regretted it after a little while because I just didn't, I couldn't see that I was going to make my money back on it. Um, even, you know, I do, uh, well, I'm not going to keep going on about it because it gets boring. Um, right, so I am going to leave you now with the tutorial. Sorry I babble on too much. See you in a bit. Bye. Right everybody, so here we have, uh, that's from yesterday, um, a mermaid design which I'm going to do. I'm going to pop my machine on actually, let's take you over here, um, pop my machine on which is down here. I've got to change some threads actually as well. Um, I might pop that in another video. Right, machine's loading up. Um, <clears throat> my USB, let's go and get my USB here 
<coughs> and I'll just pop that in there. There we go. And that will, when it's ready, will load up. Um, yeah, I've got to do some thread changing. So I might just do that first. Um, we have got, I've got some of this <coughs> colour here, which I'm going to use for the skin tone. I didn't have any brown fabric, so um, this may look brown to you, but it's actually not. It's, there you go, okay? So I turned it around the other way, and it's just got a slight speckle in it, so that's not going to hurt. Okay, so um, it's better than nothing. Um, so I'm going to use that. And I have got this thread here, which I bought the other day. That will match quite lovely. So that's going to look all right, but I've got to change the thread now. I've got to put the thread on there. And this time I must do my colour changes. So um, let's have a look. Now then, what can I change it for? Um, da -da -da -da. Uh, should I change it for that brownie gold? Um, yes, right, I'm going to change it for that one there, and I'll open it up, and open it, <laughs> right, okay, right, um, what I do is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, um, let's move the, let's move that, uh, that, no, I'm going to leave that there, because it won't go around no more, right, I'm going to try and get in here and do it so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually going to do it with the pink, get rid of that, because simple reason being it's closest and I can show you what I mean. I'm going to take the pink thread off of there, okay, and pop that on there. I'm going to leave all that pink thread threaded and I'm just going to pop that there, get some scissors and cut the pink thread there. <laughs> so, just get these scissors. Right, pink thread, there's your pink thread. I'm going to cut that there. So now that's detached, okay? Now I'm going to get the pink thread, okay? And this doesn't always work, but I'm going to try it, see if it works. And, and I'm going to tie the brown thread to that piece of pink thread, okay? And I'm going to put a knot in it. So there they are hopefully, um, tied together, right, um, there, and then I'm going to do another knot, simply because they do come undone sometimes when you put it through the tension bit, bit, <coughs> and then you have to re-thread it anyway, okay, so that's that, and I'm just going to snip off those ends, I just had my scissors, oh, there they are, just going to snip off the, uh, ends below the knot, okay, so that's gone, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to open the thing there. That's the you'll see it on a, on the ten needle. You slide that across to open those little holes. Let's see if I can um, show you here. So I slide that piece across there, and then uh, we're looking at thread number two on here. Okay, <laughs> so I follow it round to two, all the way around. I just look here really. Uh, right. Let's get this camera straight a minute. Right, so follow it all the way round, okay? <coughs> Down to here. I'm going to unthread it from in there a minute. Okay, pull it there, and then I'm going to just pull gently, okay? And as I pull, you can see it come through, hopefully. There it goes. There it goes, all the way down. It's just when you get to, I might need two hands in a minute. When you get to these bits here, it can get a little bit tight underneath those things, okay? So what I'm gonna do is lift it just slightly, um, just to help, hang on. It's not easy to do with one hand. Oh, there you go, let's come through there. Now it's got to make its way all the way around this thing here. Okay, so I'll go back to my little point down here and pull. Where are we? Here we go, right? This is where sometimes we come unstuck because it will pull itself off. 
but I've double knotted it so it's managing to get there so far there he goes down down oh I can feel it's gone now oh hang on no it's still there Look. there we go oh uh, no he won't right but I got as far as here look okay so I avoided all this threading Sometimes it's easier to do it that way, sometimes not. It depends on how you feel. You might find it just as easy just to, you know. And then I'm going to thread all that. Okay, see if I can film it. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, right. And doing it with one hand is not so easy. Uh, down. Pull a bit of there, right? Um, hang on. Going into there. Like I say, one hand is not great. Ugh, see, right, hang on. Right, there we go. So it's pulled through there. Now I've got to get it threaded. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and get my little threader. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to pop it. I'm trying to see to do this and hold the camera with my with a tripod between my legs. Right there, so that goes there. I've got to bring the threader down. Right up here. I'm going to go. Just going to brush you a minute. So Right, I need to change the needle position. I want needle two. So I'll move that across there to two. Then I'm going to bring down the threader. And now that should be down on number two. Sorry about the wonky camera. And pop that under there. Up and around there and around there. Done. Okay. And then we're going to... Th press this one again and it's threaded done okay okay right uh let's start this again right usb i want to find that mermaid there it is there she is set it um I'm going to have a quick scoot around to make sure she's going to fit in my um, hoop after I have hooped up. OK, so let's bring you back over here and I will. Right. <laughs> we took that off of there. Um, so that's that one out of the question. Right. OK. Um, so as for the mermaid design, I thought that this here, I'm going to use some of this leathery type um hate uh htv it's not htv this leathery type vinyl okay um there's no um like sticky stuff on the back you have to i always put heat and bond on the back of this this stuff it's not like the heat transfer vinyl um so and it's not like the fabric <laughs> that i sell on my shop uh, if you have a look in my Etsy shop, you'll see some of the fabric that I do in the scale material, which is just as good, if not better than this stuff. It's more like a fabric. So I think I'm going to go for, what do you think of these um, and lovely black glittery hair? I'm going to try it. We'll see, won't we? I just, just don't know whether to do... Let's have a look. See, that looked quite nice, but then... I quite like the idea of that. Do you know what? I'm going to go for that. Um, I purchased these off of Amazon. They're only short rolls, as you can see. The width of that is like hardly anything. Um, so, you know, but they're, they're all right if you want to go and buy some. It's nice stuff. Um, and then I've got this HTV vinyl stuff, okay, which is like a glittery vinyl. Um, right, pop that back over there. I've got my t-shirt. I'm going to pop my heat press on to get that ready. Um, I'm hoping you can see everything here, what I'm doing. Um, right, we'll sort the material out in a minute. Let's get the t-shirt on. Okay, I'm going to use some cutaway. 
So I'm going to go over here actually and show you what I've got <coughs> in here. Let's have a look now. Um, right, these are all my bits and pieces. Uh, going to use some. Um, I'm going to use some. What do you call it? Fusible cutaway. Um, have a sort out of all my stuff because it's all it's just everywhere um see that's like a fusible cutaway as well um actually i'm gonna use i've got some other stuff that i'm gonna use it's on a roll i'll quickly show you what vinyl i've got here um i've got some purple some green some silver but i've also got silver fabric which is just as good and I sell this on my Etsy shop. I love this stuff. I prefer this actually, and it's it's more value for money because you get like a meter and a half as opposed to well, it's not even twelve inches, is it? Um, yes, yeah, so that's that. Uh, and I've got all these bits and pieces in here, which I have to have a good sort through because, to be honest with you, I don't know what I've got. That's a nice pink there. Nice some more of that green. Some more blue scale stuff. Uh, yeah, I quite like that colour there. That's quite nice. Yeah, right. Um, I've also got another load of heat transfer vinyl in one of these boxes here. This is my fabric that I sell on Etsy. Um, that's the nice red there. Well, so I've got some other bits and pieces there. That's all ready to, if anyone orders any, then I just send it out. I'm not a big fabric seller. I just thought I would just share with you some of my fabrics. I'm doing a fabric giveaway as well. <laughs> when I reach a thousand subscribers, along with another giveaway, I'm doing six prizes, five fabric sets of uh, my choice. I'll send you enough to do some appliques. Be quite, you know, it'll be enough to do at least five, six or more appliques. Well, and the rest, I expect. And um, a cricket heat press right uh so we're gonna go for the black there oh that's what i was gonna do lose my mind right um i'll get this stuff here here we go uh no that's iron on tear away oh god hang on let's have a little look i know i've got some here somewhere let's have a look i knew i had some how could i have missed this it's a massive roll of it. Okay, this is not the thickest of stuff, but let me just compare it to another t-shirt that I was sent. Somebody sent me a t-shirt that they made. It's really nice. Um, look. Um, I'll have to try and find the link for that lady's shop because I can't remember what it is. But, um, yeah, so that looks pretty... Is there two layers there? Oh yeah, it looks like there might, might be. Yes, there are, there's two layers there. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna go and do two layers of it, okay? Right, enough babbling, stop it, Kim. <laughs> Put that up there a minute. Right, okay, let's get two lots of this. Um. I knew I'd find a good use for this, so I'm glad I purchased it. Um, I've been using Tearaway so much, and well, um, apparently it's probably not the best, it's probably better to use the um, stitch and, yeah, stitch and, not stitch and tear, oh, what's it called? Um, don't get me wrong, it's worked for me, okay? I'm gonna pop that. I'm not gonna pop it in my um, hoop. I'm gonna pop it underneath, all right? You can, um, that's my heat press. Be quiet. <laughs> right, you can't see a lot there. Right, hang on. Okay, now then. I am going to put my hoop on first. I am, I am going to, iron this i'm going to show you the way that 
is the best one of the best ways to do it okay it's always to be on the safe side better to give it a good press that way you can't go wrong with centering it if you haven't got magic hoops the whatever they're called um mighty hoops then it's probably the best option for you is to give it a quick press and fold it in half <laughs> to get your center so we're going to do that uh just give it a quick press on it okay right now then let's put across there like that there we go fold it in half Uh, all right, let's give that a quick press. All right, now, so now you've got your centre line, okay? Um, I'm going to now just pop this back in here to tidy a bit. <laughs> pop my mighty hoop in. Um, or whatever hoop you're using, uh, do what you need to do to hoop up your garment. Okay, um, with this one, I'm using the 10 needle machine. I'm using a mighty hoop, which is magnetic. So therefore I am comfortable not putting the, um, uh, stabilizer in with the hoop i did the other day it just depends how i feel so um i'm going to just push it up with a slight bit more i want it i want to make sure the design there okay all right so we've got our center we've got two um i don't know if you can see that probably not on this hoop on these hoops you've got um two little holes there and up there and as long as that coincides with that that's your center marks okay if you're doing across as well and you want it central those are your marks there okay you've got two on either side of that so that's that i always sound out of breath i never used to get this breathless uh right so i'm just going to pull that a little bit i don't pull it from the neck i just you know from the sides and from the bottom just to make sure don't have to put it too much i just want to make sure it's nice and taut okay that's taut enough that's that's enough for me right <laughs> i'm gonna pop this on my machine if you can see my camera work is terrible right I'll pop that in there okay push underneath just to make sure that everything is not you know you haven't got the back over the arm because you don't want to attach the back to the front t-shirt ruined and um, this here i can cut a piece off of that i don't need all that it's a bit big <laughs> right i've got two pieces of fusible okay um cut away all right so i'm going to pop that in under here I'm going to pop it in over the arm and under the t-shirt so it's just underneath there but it's resting on the arm and the t-shirt sort of like catching it in place so that should hopefully all stay intact in fact I've got it the wrong way around this is fusible okay so I'm going to have it that way up so you've got your your you know your glue that facing upwards so I'm gonna pop that down there like so when I press it I don't want to I won't be able to press the back of it properly, will I? Right, okay. That's how I see to do it anyway. Hopefully that's right. Okay, right. So we're all ready to go with that. I want to get some of my fabric and put some heat and bond on it. I use heat and bond light. Um, I find that works for me. Okay, I buy it in the big, I've only ever bought this one box, 
and I haven't, I mean, I haven't done masses, so I've still got loads left. I'm just going to cut a piece off with my good scissors again, as usual. I mustn't do that, but I do. It'll just ruin your scissors. Fabric scissors should never cut paper with. <laughs> right. Um, I just want a piece for this. Uh, I'm going to go with just to be on the safe side. Okay, I want to do enough. Um, I can always reuse some. Okay, so that's that. Just remember to fuse it on the right side because we don't want a that sort of pattern on your face. And I said I'm going to use gold, didn't I? I think that looked quite nice. Um, let's try it and see. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of that. And then I'm going to just measure my heat and bond to come within the fabric because you don't want to get any... Um, with the sticky stuff when you iron it on your iron because you're going to have to or not on your iron it will go down onto the surface where you're ironing so or if you're heat pressing it and you don't want to do that so just within the fabric okay so we've got that one done uh rough side down okay to the underside of your fabric obviously this is the over the right side but i'm not using that color won't look right so uh, therefore I'm turning the fabric the other way around so, so I could have done with doing that a bit bigger but I want to cut this bigger yeah use that piece okay so there now I'm going to put those two bits like that into my heat press okay <laughs> so and I I'm going to let's just like there. I'm going to put my sheet over simply because I like to protect this like vinyl -y stuff here. Uh, I just worry anything that's like not cotton or whatever, I just worry that I'm going to burn it. Probably not, you know. Some of this does take good high temperatures, right? So, hang on, it's not quite right. This is not. Oh. needs a lining again I don't know why it's like that right there we go I need to sort that out um and then I'm going to cut a piece of this for the hair uh, the same stuff there because I've got two different kinds of this maybe right That should be all right for that minute. I'll let that cool a second. Cut a piece of this for her hair. Okay. Um, with this stuff here, this this um, HTV vinyl, always take the plastic off the front when you're doing embroidery. Okay. Just for embroidery, take the plastic off. All right. Unless you're heat transferring a design cut out on the Cricut. There we go. So we've got that. And let's get our bits of fabric out. One. One. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn my heat press off for a minute now because I won't need it for a minute. And peel this off. I always like to put a bit of heat and bond on it on this. Okay, so like a leathery material. It helps it adhere and it leaves no hopefully no bubbles you know bulging when you um sew it knit it uh, not knit it what am i going on about um when you press it right so we've got our bits of material ready okay i quite like those colors together um right so let's start embroidering there's our material sorry the camera was out right i'll bring my design up there it is I'm going to go to edit end because I need to go into the colours of the threads. Um, and now I want to choose my colours to match with my machine. Now, as you will see, I didn't change my colour um, for where I've got number two. So I'm going to change that because I've got pink and it will look like she's got a pink body. Right. So basically, I'm going to have to go back out of here. Um, let me think, what have I got to do here? Right, I'm going to go into my, looks like a manual type thing down here. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go scroll along till I get to my threads. There you go, there's my threads. That's the needle attribute setting. Okay, um, and I wanna change number two. I'm gonna click on that. I've clicked up there, okay. Then I'm gonna go to reset it, okay. And now I can pick my color and I'm gonna go to the brown and then I'm gonna set. And now it's changed up there, okay. Right, so there we go, that's that done. Okay, right, we're back on this screen now. Uh, right, starts with her hair. So we want black, so it's gonna be number 10. And that's her hair again, number 10. Now what I'm gonna do actually, um, I'm gonna change that color there for white so I can see to cut it out. It's gonna be covered anyway with black satin stitch when you go to number three, look, okay? Not number three, sorry. It'll probably do it all at the end. So, number three is the body, and I'm doing that in the brown at two. And I'm going to do it again in the white, so I can see where I'm cutting. And the tail is gonna be in gold, so we're gonna go for, um, oh. Hmm, oh, I've got that other color there on. Oh, that'll be good. Right, okay, we're gonna go for number four, which is like a, an off gold. And then we're going to go for, should we do that or not? I don't know what to do, whether to go for blue or, let me think about it a minute. Oh, I changed my mind and now I'm going for this. Um, so yeah, I quite like the look of that. So right, I'm going to go for her tail now. I'm going to do in um, number one. I've got it all written here anyway, so I don't know why I worry about that. Right. Uh, where have we got that? Right. So let's see a minute. If I do that in one, that in white, because I'm so sorry about this. Hang on. Okay. So I'm going to do her tail in a red. Okay. Um, right. So we've got the red lie down stitch there. Then we've got the tap down stitch, which I'm doing in white because I want to be able to see it. Um, that's the actual covering stitch. So there we go. And then we've got the little bits of, um, you know, we'll do those in red as well. Uh, the hair is black and the body is the brown too. And then we have black on that bit of hair. And number two is her bikini. What should we do? I think I'm gonna do that in red as well. And then we've got her lips, red. Um, or should I do pink lips? Um, let me think. No, I'm going to do it in red. Right, and then we've got her bows and her hair. Let's try red as well, shall we? Let's just go all in. <coughs> Can't see that, can you? There we go, look. And I'm going to do the shell in red as well. So, um, that's her earrings. Let's do those all red. And then let's do her eyes in the black. And the shell in red, the tack down stitch in white, and then the, hang on, let's have a look, what's that, the shell, right, red, tack down in white, and then we've got the outer in red, that's it for that, okay, so now I'm going to put my stops in, you can put your stops in as you go, it's up to you, I like to do it this way because I try to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And like I said before, I tend to stop at every point, but these, sometimes it will go straight onto the satin stitch after it's done the tack down. But these are doing nearly all of the um, things first. So it looks to me like I haven't got to stop it any more than that. Right, so press okay. I'm going to go scoot around to make sure the embroidery um, is not going to hit the bars on my thing. It shouldn't do. So I'm going to press this one here. The needle's going to drop down and it's going to do a quick scoot around just to make sure that it's not going to hit any of the sides. Seems okay. Right, done. Let's start. So press lock. And unlock and hopefully it will all be okay everything's all in place oh hang on 
No. Right, we're going to lay our fabric down on top of that. And try and not to get your fingers in the way, but try and <laughs> make sure it doesn't move or um, bubble up. You can see now what I mean about the white stitching. I'll be able to see there now where my stitch line is to cut around, whereas if I've done it in black, it makes it a whole lot harder to see. Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm trying to talk over the machine so you can hear me. I've got a feeling this is going to look lovely. Oh, that's you know, it should have um, threaded that blue one by now, but I haven't done it. Right, now we're going to take that off and we're going to cut it out. Right, unclip gently, bring it over to your table, I'll bring you over with me. There we go, right, so let's zoom in, that's not very zoomed in is it? these little bits but if you take your time then you know it's easier 
to do if you take your time at it. Let's sort this stupid camera out. Hang on. more vibrant red um, which probably would have looked better but I did not want to change another thread at the moment so we'll go with this make sure you get the scales going the right way okay I nearly have put it on like sideways or something like that and it wouldn't look right Table, I mean. Right, I'm going to try and take you with me with this one. Um, I use, if you haven't seen in my other videos, these um, Fisker scissors, okay? They've got a curved tip. They're about, I think they're about £16 off of eBay or Amazon. They're called Fiskers. Um, I will try and see if I can find a link for any, but sometimes they're very hard to get hold of. Um, anyway, right, so when you're cutting around these edges, I find the easiest thing to do is make sure you do the tack down stitch in a colour that you're going to be able to see, okay? I often, very, very often don't do that and I do have difficult seeing. Uh, my eyesight's not brilliant now. Um, and then with these little scissors, you can get as close as you can, but just use the tip. Don't go right in up here because I find when you do that, you're not, you know, you get a smoother edge as you go around and just take your time. OK, you don't want to cut into the T-shirt, hence why you pull the fabric away a little bit so you can sort of see where you're cutting and just snip at it gently. Um, I hope you can see what I'm doing. My big arm's not in the way. Right. And we go around like so. OK. Uh, and pick a way around that suits you, you know, obviously. Um, and then I turn it so that I'm still cutting um, in a way that it helps me. OK, right. So back around here. And oh, I'll try not to cut the stitches and not to cut the T-shirt. OK, I thought I'd show you the tail because it's a little bit easier. Otherwise, I'll be there all day. It takes a little bit of time when you're going around all these little fiddly bits. And there we go. OK, so we've cut around that. It's fairly close. Um, most of these designs, if they're very well made, you will find that the applique will cover anything that's just overhanging. If it's just, you know, if it's not masses, a good design, you know, should come out quite well. Right, I'm going to put that back on the machine. Right. Get this right. Make sure everything's as is, should be. And now we're going to go and unlock the lock again. Right, now it's going to finish the mermaid, all the details. So I'm going to leave you to watch that.
there we go. All heat uh, pressed, sorry. And it's quite nice that. I don't think I'll go in with this much red next time. I think it's too much red there. Um, I don't know how that's going to go on. Let's see. Um, I can put a name in, so I can always put that in the description. Um, yeah, but I, I do quite like it. You can still see the um, cutaway. Whereas when I use the tear away, you don't get that. Uh, never mind. And the t-shirts are quite good quality as well. So they're not exactly thin t-shirts. So I don't know. But I like that. That looks really nice. So there we go. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. Um, if there's any questions, like I say, leave them in the um, questions, the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I, yeah, I shall get and edit this video and pop it on and hopefully it works out all right. Um, I've had a couple of issues, but I think I've sorted them. I did lay out some of the fabric that I sell on my Etsy, just so you know and you get a rough idea of, well, an idea, yeah, of what, how much you're gonna get. Um, so feel free to check that out. I'll pass the camera over a minute so I'm just going to turn you around. Basically the scale fabric in the red and the silver this is how much you'll get for six pounds and 99 pence okay it's a fair bit there we go can't go wrong with all that um like I said it's a meter and a half wide and it's lovely stuff I love it it's really effective there we go. Okay, um, I will be doing a tutorial on that bag there at some point. Let me take this off of the tripod because it's getting in the way. <clears throat> I'll be doing a tutorial on this at some point. If anyone wants to see how I did it, um, I can do another one. But maybe put somebody else's name there or maybe not put a name there at all and just let you get the basic idea. Um, I love this embroidery thread. It's uh, the Madeira. It's got a really nice shiny look to it. Um, and these canvas bags are actually, they're on, on my Etsy shop. Um, and they are organic, organic cotton. But yeah, um, I thought that was quite good. I quite, I quite like that. So that's that. And as we know, we've seen in other videos, there's all my new fabric. Um, I'm doing a fabric giveaway so check the video out for that when i reach a thousand and it's getting there there's my art more art and i have to get on and do some resin work we've got more behind there we've got a cow there a little robin and a duck there. there's my duck <laughs> um and a load more there and so on. Right, okay. Pop the camera back on there. Hang on. So thank you for watching my video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful, if you like it. And um, please subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll be in with a chance of winning one of the six prizes that I've got um, coming up when I reach a thousand subscribers. And I look forward to doing my uh, creating my next tutorial. I'm not sure what to do yet. I might go back to the fluffy stuff. We'll see. Or I might do something totally different. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a giraffe in the, like, giraffe type fabric. Okay. So, yes, watch out for that one. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.